good morning everybody dad bod season here peace guess you guys already see it we're gonna wrap the golf cart the wrap came in nice camouflage wrap so we're getting ready this is the first time we ever wrapped anything so i've only been down the front of it right now and we're gonna see how this goes um obviously you know it's it's our first time so a little nervous actually extremely nervous because this stuff isn't exactly cheap but we will uh get it done the print kind of came out rather big but who knows like like i said earlier this wasn't the original wrap that i wanted um and i said it in an earlier video it wasn't the wrap i actually wanted um but this is our our backup wrap so we put it on and we find out like that's not exactly what we want um it's not gonna be that much for us to order it order the other wrap later and put it on later when it actually can kind of come in um but so as of right now we're just gonna get this on there because my dad really wants a golf cart back he needs it for like yard work and stuff and he just finished up his his well he just got his last treatment on yesterday monday so we're gonna try to get this for him done as quick as we can because we want this as like a gift for him so uh let's, let's get started so first thing if you do want your vehicle wrapped first piece of advice for you 100 percent don't do it yourself take it to a professional and get it done this is like hour three on just a little bit of it and it is rough it makes you contemplate your all your brain cells it makes you want to punch yourself right in the face so yeah for people that did it professionally congrats you're awesome i i will never uh never be doing this again to another vehicle by myself or ourselves at home will not be happening all right well good morning everybody this is day two of the wrap installation um i understand yesterday i really didn't record that much of us actually doing the install because like the whole time the baby was crying so you just would have heard a baby crying and us getting mad at trying to figure out how to put a wrap on um so we finally started to figure it out i did order an extra sheet so i might end up taking the first one off uh just to redo it after we make sure we have enough for the rest um, it's definitely not as easy as it looks like if you go on YouTube or anything like that and you look up like how to how to install a vinyl wrap those guys make it look amazing they make it look easy it's like oh yeah I could have done 20 minutes yeah it doesn't work like that not not if it's your first time at least so um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get a little bit more of it done today and hopefully it goes smoother now that we know how to do it um well because well i'm not even gonna say we know how to do it we found a technique that worked better for us and we kind of did it as we went and it didn't leave bubbles or wrinkles or anything in it it's actually like a, a lot of the videos i mean they look like they just put it on and take the the tool and they just slide it right across and all the bubbles come out dude it, it doesn't it's not like that like the people that can do that congratulations like you guys are complete artist because i there's no way i mean i i thought i was like oh yeah it's good look at that nice and smooth and i went and looked at it from another angle and just bubble bubble bubble, bubble. It's, it's tough it's a whole lot harder than what people think and people don't give credit to the people that do wraps <clears throat> Especially on cars that are like really, really rounded. Pfft. You guys. Wow. Wow. So, either way, we're going to go ahead and start with the front of it today. I'm going to take this off and clean it real quick. And then we'll, we'll try not to get so frustrated that I break it. But... We will see in a little bit. All right, so it's coming out pretty good. We're still, you know, got to work work with it a little bit more. 
get some of the bubbles out like that one right there get that out um but we're starting to get the hang of it but it's still pretty hard so unless you got a lot of time on your hands and really really want to frustrate yourself i mean go for it best way you're gonna figure it out is to do it yourself just try it but on your first attempt don't expect to be able to wrap like in a professional because it's a whole lot harder than what it looks now that right there that's where the other headlight is that's why it looks all wrinkled and stuff uh, so we're going to cut that out still but you know this isn't the finished product this is still in the wrapping phase just wanted to show you guys you know kind of where we are right now where everything is still getting all of it but you know in all honesty it's not it's not coming out that bad it definitely could be better but this isn't the only reason i'm really not i mean i, I want it to look good but i'm not too too worried about it is because when we get this back to my dad we're going to be taking this thing through the woods and all that stuff so it's going to naturally just get ripped and stuff like that and have little spots here and there um so we're going to do our best to make it look good for him but i know within one trip of him taking it out to the woods that it's going to be all probably all jacked up and also this isn't the vinyl like i said earlier this isn't the vinyl that we really wanted to put on it so if anything it's like a dry run and we're figuring it all out we'll see what it looks like and then we'll probably go and get um vinyl from a different company and the big sheets once all this coronavirus stuff is over but let's uh see if you look right here finishing off the bottom down there getting that and then we're going to move on to bigger section this is the hardest part pretty much so i wanted to just try to knock this one out and see how how bad it was going to look but actually it looks pretty pretty good so i'm pretty happy with it so now this back half looks a lot better than the other ones um so we just have this little the bit up here on the front to do and then we'll be uh we'll be set So guys, with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Um, we're getting close. We're getting close to finishing this thing up. We're just gonna put that piece that goes right across there on uh, probably tomorrow. And then we're gonna start buttoning this thing up. And that means it's time to give it to my dad, which is going to be um, pretty exciting. I'm, I'm very happy to be able to give it to him. And I hope he likes it. Now granted, I'm going to tell him like, hey, the wrap, we're probably gonna do a different one in a little bit, a little bit later on down the road because I mean, yes, it does look good. Like right now you're like, wow, okay, yeah, that looks fine, but it's not exactly what I wanted. So I'll end up ordering another one down the road and putting it on there for him unless he just completely says no, which it's up to him. It's really up to him. If he likes it the way it is and he can have it the way it is. Um, but with all that being said, guys, make sure you go check out the Dad Bod Season store. Grab yourself some merchandise. I got t-shirts, hoodies, uh, the hats. We have we have so much stuff. Book bags, uh, regular bags, uh, like sport bags, like drawstring bags. We got so much stuff on there. Phone cases. Go check it out. Right now, everything's 15% off. So make sure you go get your stuff. And all this stuff is just different designs that I did myself. So I would highly recommend just go checking it out. And like always, make sure you smash that like button. Tell anyone and everyone you know to hop on the Dad Bod Season train and join the family. Share this, share my channel. Make sure they subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell notification so you get notified when I put up my next video. And like always, have a good day. Dad bod season out.